Well, good morning YouTube. So, it is a Saturday and it's quite a nice Saturday in the UK. Uh, sun's out, there you go, shiny thing in the, in the sky there. And we're obviously still on shutdown, but uh, what do you do when you're bored and um, basically you can't do anything, go anywhere, uh, can't even get yourself a haircut? Well, you work on the car. So today, working on the Audi. Now, if I just quickly pop the bonnet up, um, just give me a second, let's pull the bonnet. There we go, bonnet up. So, the job I've got to do today is a really simple one. I've got to change the thermostat. Now on any other car, not a problem at all. The problem I've got though is, underneath all this, right down there, underneath all the inlet manifold, and all the gubbins in front of it, connected to the intercooler and everything else, there is a thermostat. Now, let me just grab the thermostat itself. So, on an Audi, the thermostat looks like this. And it's a common fault with these, where they actually stick open. And lots of thermostats do it on lots of cars, but it seems to be quite common on Audis. Um, I've noticed recently, every now and again, it doesn't get to 90 degrees and sit there. Um, it seems to get to about 85 and sit there. So obviously, the one I've got on at the moment is sticking, so I bought a new one. Not expensive, about 25 quid for that. But to get to it, I've got to take all my engine cover off. Easy job. I've then got to take all the induction side off. So all the <laughs> induction manifolds got to come off. Um, which is a good thing as well, because obviously these being TFSI engines, um, they do gum up get rid of that <laughs> um, so I can also clean it out at the same time so it's, it's a double whammy to be honest but literally all the front end of the engine has got to come off so today my job is to do that just to get that on but hey we've got nothing else better to do so let's get crack on with it course it's also the simplest jobs that take the most time uh, but getting there slowly um, got the high pressure fuel pump off and got the fuel lines disconnected and the charcoal lines disconnected 
obviously all the induction systems come off with the cover uh, PCV off uh, so now um, I think I've disconnected all the pipes I need to disconnect um, got to get off the intercooler pipe down there and then hopefully I can start undoing the manifold and it should come off as one unit we shall see let's get on with it well I think I've got just about everything off all the bolts out of the manifold including the ones to right down there in the bottom um, all the pipes, all the ancillaries, uh, just got the, the charge cooler pipe there um, but it, it's still quite solid on there as you can see so I'm obviously missing something somewhere so uh, trying to have a quick coffee I think have a quick break and then come back to it but uh, yeah at the moment I think I've got all the bolts out um, I'm a little bit perplexed <laughs> why it's not coming off but there you go, that is uh, that's car mechanics for you. It's probably just gummed on there to be honest, but I don't want to give it too much force because that's not a good thing. But yeah, looking around, don't see anything obvious that's holding it in place, so um, give it five minutes, have a bit of a think, and come back to it. So I think, to be honest, what I've got to do is I've got to take the throttle body off. Um, I've got a feeling that I thought I could just drop that charge pipe, but I have a strange sneaky feeling because the manifold is actually moving slightly that there's something actually on that throttle body, maybe a bracket um, or something holding it on so you know, I've got to get underneath and um, yeah, quickly look about getting that, uh, that throttle body off and I think then it should all come off. I'll be honest it's been about 6-7 years since I've actually done this job um, so yeah, it kind of uh, <laughs> my muscle memory has gone. But, uh, Anyway, let's get that charge pipe off and, uh, and see where we are. Okay, so I took the bottom plate off. Uh, there's the charge cooler pipe. Uh, so we're going to take that off next. Um, not entirely sure if there's a bracket up there or not. Can't see a lot, to be honest. We're going to take it off. Um, I've got a strange feeling in my head that it's got to come off anyway. Um, I believe, um, like I say, there's a bracket or something on the throttle body that holds it all in. So it's not a big job. There's, uh, there's a Torx there. Um, uh, obviously uh, a pipe there and uh, it should come off quite easily I think so right next job let's get that done oh wow <laughs> okay I've got the charge cooler loose um, but unfortunately with the fans on there's nowhere for it to go I don't much fancy taking the fan shield off but it may come down to that boy it's tight in there um, right let me see if I can move it about just to you know, to get an idea of what's going on without damaging the fans I can move it to one side okay so maybe that's going to give me enough room just to to get another look under there and see what's what well I've got the pipe out um, God knows if I'll get it back in again but there you go got the charge cooler pipe out that's a heavy old unit for some of this plastic hmm okay right next challenge so I tried to have a good look inside there and I can't see much inside that throttle body. Um, I am assuming though there's something in there that's holding it so it's got to come off I believe. Um, I'm going to get a torch on there and have a really good look but I can see there's a bolt at the back. I don't know if they're holding it or not. It's a job to tell um, but we shall see. Let's have a go at it getting it off. it's off and if I was to say that was easy I'd be a big fat liar because it wasn't um, you can see there you've got to kind of get right up inside there and, and just try and get the screws one by one it's um yeah nothing's easy um, and I think now what I'm seeing is holding it is that 13 mil bolt there I think that's the one that's holding the whole manifold on so yeah your throttle body's got to come off to get to that um, 
we're getting there. Slow progress, nothing else better to do. We're on lockdown. <laughs> right, next. Okay, so, yeah, the 13 mils off, but there is a bolt right in there. Spline bolt in there. <laughs> oh, God. This is um, fun. So the saga continues. To get into that bolt, which means the dipstick tube is in the way, you've got to then take this bracket support off here. That is a 4 millimeter stud, like that. So that's got to come out, as you can see, and then huh, we might be able to get the dipstick tube out and actually get somewhere near it. Go on. Fun and games. Right, so that studs out. That means now the dipstick should just... Ooh, maybe I can just move it to one side. Oh, the dogs are going crazy. Nice. <laughs> nope. Dipstick should come out. Oh, please come out. Come on, you... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this off camera. And this is why Andy Mechanics charge so much money. I've got to get that bolt out there to try and free up that pipe that is in the way of that spline drive in there to get this manifold off. Yeah, are we having fun yet? <sighs> Coffee break. Where are we then? Well, it's the SP, so <laughs> brackets everywhere. Getting these bolts out of these brackets that hold the pipes on been an absolute nightmare, but I need to get the pipes out of the way to get in to that mount there. Absolute nightmare. Yeah, but uh, I've just got the bracket off this. Now, obviously the water pump's gonna be changed, so I'm trying to get the main water pump pipe out of the water pump itself, like that. Yay, there's some water. <laughs> Right, so I've moved that pipe out of the way. So in theory now, I should be able to get to that bolt in there and the manifold should come off. It's all good fun. Okay, the bolt is out. So in theory, the manifold should now come off. <laughs> mm, in theory. There still seems to be something holding it. Oh. Deep breath, maybe it's time for another coffee. It's got to be something really simple. Yeah, I know when I took one off last time, it didn't cause me this much problem. But there you go, right, two hands, let's do it properly. five minute job <laughs> oh there you go so yeah that's uh that was holding it on that bracket on the block that's where the problem was of trying to get the damn thing off it was quite tight on there I had to give it a bit of a wiggle and obviously loads of uh, electrical connectors as well which god oh, they're, they're all over the place but it's off so now my next job uh, is one to make sure I don't lose any of these injector seals and stuff like that. And uh, two, get the water pump off, which is just there. And that doesn't look a lot easier than what I've just actually done. So this could be fun. Right, I think first of all, it's, um, it's a well-earned break. So there is the offending article. Um, two 10 mils to hold it on by the looks of it. And here's the new one that goes on it. There you go, so got the top pipe off, just taking that off. Uh, middle pipe goes in there with bolt and there's a clip to hold the bottom one on. So they remove that clip, hopefully get that pipe down far enough and um, swap it out. All that work just to change a the thermostat. 
It's crazy, isn't it? Well, I've got to say, if we were playing top trumps of stupid ideas, Audi would win. Look at that. I mean, there's a bolt right in there to hold the water pump in. You can't get your hand in there. You can't get anywhere near it because the alternator's in the way. It's just an almost impossible task. <sighs> Audi, really? I mean, come on. Don't want to take the alternator off just to get a bolt out, for God's sake. So this is the gift that just keeps on giving. <laughs> I've got it loose. I've managed to get the clip out of there and it will not budge. Oh. And finally, all that effort for that. So that's where it sits, right in there. And you can't get the screws in it. It's almost impossible to get that bottom joint off because it's solid in there and uh, I have to get a hammer and chisel on it. Oh, I tell you, not easy, not easy at all. So if you think you're doing this yourself, <laughs> if you've got a good mechanic who doesn't charge much, take it to him. Oh my word, there you go. That's the thermostat, right, definitely a break and definitely time to have a coffee. So I've got the new one in place, just the unenviable task now of getting the bolts in without um, pinching the seal behind it. So. Um, yeah, two hands needed. Catch you in a minute. And the water pump is on. Um, yeah, wasn't too difficult. <laughs> anyway, the next thing is I want to clean up the uh, the induction side because obviously it's a TFSI engine and it gets all gunked up. It's not that bad, to be honest, but while I've got the manifold off, I want to give it a clean and uh, get a bit more performance out of it. Right, let's get on with it. Tell you what, your mum's toothbrush. I hope she don't notice. <laughs> And this is the more time consuming bit, there you go, I don't know if you can see that, let's get a light in there. We're looking pretty clean now, getting there slowly, looking pretty clean, happy with that. Well the last swirl flap to, uh, to clean up and yeah these were a bit crusty to be fair, so good job I took them out and gave them a good clean up. Uh, the rest have been done, that's obviously the last one, everything else is back in there, if I just drop one out, they're looking rather nice, there you go. All nice and clean in there now. So I put the last swirl flap in and then think about uh, putting everything back together again. First job though, <sighs> coffee. Okay, trying to crack on with things rather than video a lot, so uh, got the manifold back on and now it's just bolting up everything and remembering where it all goes again. Ah, oh, what a day. It's took me pretty much all day. I've been out here since probably about 9 o'clock and I think it's about 4 o'clock now, so not finished yet and uh, still lots to do. But the, uh, the, water, the water thermostat, no, said, nearly said water pump, the water thermostat is on and that was the main job and obviously cleaned up all the induction side as well. 
which needs doing on TFSI engines fairly regularly. So productive day and let's face it I'm not going anywhere so might as well make the most of it. Well, I think I'm almost there. I didn't film much of this because basically I just want to get on and get it finished. Um, it's not been easy, to say the least. But everything's back where it should be. Just got the cover to put on, uh, the spark plugs in, and the filter on, and then off we go. So, let's get it done. Okay, it's all back together. First start. Whoa, 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 stop! You've got fuel spewing out from that. Okay, fuel is not spraying everywhere this time. So that's at least a benefit. It ain't going to sound that good because the math's off. No. Well, we'll see if it does anything this time, though. Start. Well, it worked. <laughs> this has been a long, long day. I think it's just time to dump the tools and have a beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah.